In this tutorial, I will show you how to search Google Scholar from the library's website. At the end of this tutorial, you will understand what Google Scholar is, how to access Google Scholar from the library's website, and understand how to perform a basic Google Scholar search. So what is Google Scholar? Google Scholar is a web-based search engine. While Google Scholar behaves similarly to a regular Google search, the primary difference is that Google Scholar results display books and articles written on your search terms, rather than websites. Results can include books, dissertations, scholarly publications, and more. Google Scholar is one more research tool worth your consideration. While Google Scholar is free to search, not everything displayed in the search results will be freely available meaning it's free to conduct searches, but you may be prompted to pay for the full text of an article. To decrease the likelihood of this happening, it's best to connect your Google Scholar search with the Belk Library. The easiest way to do this is to start your search from the library's homepage, library.appstate.edu. Accessing Google Scholar from the library's website will automatically connect the Google Scholar search results to Belk Library's subscriptions to journals and databases. Google Scholar can be accessed from the search bar in the middle of the library's homepage. It is the third tab from the left. So let's give it a try. I'll enter in my search terms, healthcare access and transgender adolescents. You can see the number of search results at the top of the page. By default, the search results are displayed by relevance. If you need to refine your search, you can use the Publication Date tool to narrow your results. Google Scholar also has an advanced search feature that more closely resembles a library database. You can access the advanced search feature by clicking the three bars in the top right corner and clicking Advanced Search. This feature allows you to quickly limit results in a number of ways, such as to a specific author, publication, or date range. There are also additional Google Scholar features available below each search result. You can save a favorite search result, cite this article in a number of formats, just remember, you should always confirm computer-generated citations. The Cited By link will give me the scholarly articles and books that use this particular item in further research on the topic. For this result, 36 other articles use this one as a reference. There's also an option to view related articles. Access options are available on the right-hand side of the results list. You'll see options to access via PDF, HTML, or a Find at App State link for articles available via the library's databases. You may come across articles that are not freely available via Google Scholar or the library's databases. If this is the case, you could request the articles or item via the library's interlibrary loan program, ILLiad. This concludes the tutorial. You should know how to use Google Scholar. If you need additional assistance, please ask a librarian. You can chat with us, email us, or make an appointment.